Hey guys, it's Blaine from Earhart Racing RC. I'm doing another unboxing. This one's of the EMB WRC 114th scale rally car by LC Racing. Um, Nitro RCX also sells this vehicle under the TAC Online. So I bought this from Atomic RC um, for $120 on Black Friday. So I think that is a steal for these cars. Very awesome purchase by me. So. <laughs> Uh, this is a sticker pack, which is awesome, and some windows and stuff in there, so I can paint this clear-bodied vehicle. Uh, this is uh, the registration and spec sheet for the vehicle. And I feel like the boxing and the packaging really protect these vehicles. I just unboxed another one, and it was great. And this one will probably turn in my drift mobile. I'm not quite positive, but I got some drift wheels. I tried it on the, I tried it on the tack on uh, cavalry, and it did not drive at all. Like it was just maybe I'm a horrible drifter, but I think this thing has a better chance of chance of being able to do that. But as you can see here, a uh, really nice looking rally car. Some aluminum parts on here. Um, the under carriage is also uh, aluminum. It's really nice, cold feel. Um, and we'll just get this body off so we can get a close up picture for you guys. And I'll probably just drive a 2S LiPo in this vehicle, just like I do for all the rest. Uh, I'll move that over there. And we'll get a close up shot of this vehicle. Okay, and as you can see here, um, aluminum shocks, uh, wow, these ones are looser than the other ones, that probably makes sense, they don't need to be, well, maybe they do need to be tight, I don't know, actually, these feel different, I'll have to redo those, that's fun, um, the front two feel slightly different, maybe it's just because I'm reviewing real quick, but, uh, um, this car is not going to be flying all over the place, but, well. <laughs> anyways, um, as I said before, these come with like uh, baton products, but they seem to be identical in terms of electronics and stuff like that to the um, Nitro RCX Tack Online in parts and electronics. Uh, I'll just give you a view. Nice aluminum, just a lot of aluminum. I really like the aluminum on here. Um, gives the car a nice look. Uh, just a nice little servo saver in there. And yeah, let's move on here. Let's show some other parts. All right. So we got a NIM battery. Eh, eh, we'll recycle that. A charger for said NIM battery. Um, I won't need that either. These will all be converted to Dean. Well, I'll just put in my 2S LiPos since I have now a few of these. And then the radio, which I, I like these radios. I don't hate them. I mean, they, they work really well. Um, I don't have problems with any sort of jitter or craziness or anything like that. They only require four double A's. I like to use any loops in my battery uh, um, or in my radios and stuff like that just because I can recharge them. Um, the remote feels really good in hand and just the stiffness and stuff, I feel like Spectrum actually does a worse job in terms of their lower end vehicles like this, um, giving you radios. I hope, I hope they improve that here soon. <laughs> um, and then it comes with just a little package of parts here, so. Oh, almost missed something. We get, hope oh, we get a cool little, little uh, wing here. Cool, awesome. Wing for the body. Here you go. You can see that. Make sure nothing else is in here. And there we go. Um, yeah. This is an LC Racing rally car. I'm really excited. I think I'm actually going to make this a drifter. Um, tell me what you think in the comments what I should do with this vehicle since I got the short course truck, the, the cavalry, so the mountain um, buggy or whatever they want to call it. Um, and... Uh, the soar. Maybe this one should be 
my awesome drifter. So this is Blaine checking out.